Hi, and welcome to our guide to the expenses section of your Crunch accounting software. From here, you can record your new expenses and list items that you've paid for personally. Recording your expenses is really important because it ensures that your tax figures will be recorded correctly and the tax will also adjust to show that your tax is going down as you start to record your expenses. If we wish to add an expense, we can do so from either of these buttons or we can navigate to the expenses subsection where we can also view any historical expenses that we've added. If we start to add a new expense, the first thing that we're required to do is to choose our supplier. The supplier is the company or the individual from whom we're making the purchase. And if you haven't done so yet, you can add a new supplier by following the instructions on the button here. So I've chosen a supplier here called Travel, um, which I'm going to use as a generic supplier to list all of my different transport costs under. Now with your expenses that happen on a regular basis, you can use these generic suppliers to save yourself time and effort recording your expenses. So I'm now putting in a brief description here, and you can be as brief or as in-depth as you wish with that. And I'm then going to enter the amount here. We can add multiple line items to our invoices if you wish. So if you have a bunch of different items on a receipt or on an invoice, you can add them all as one expense. Once you've listed the supplier and line items, then we need to mark the payment details. So you can add multiple payments if an item has been paid in installments. In this example, we'll have paid all in one go. So we'll keep it nice and easy. And the payment is made on the same date as the expense. And next up, we need to mark the payment method. So this is really important. If you pay for expenses personally, you must make sure that you mark them as paid by the director personally. This will add the expense to the money that's then owed back to you from the company. And it allows you to ensure that you're repaying yourself for any of those costs that you've paid personally. Once we've marked the payment, we can add files if we want. So if you wish to upload an electronic copy of your invoice or the receipt, you can do that here. And finally, we can add a note. So if you want to add additional information about the expense, about the item, you can do that here. Once we're happy, we can save the expense by ticking the blue button and it will then be listed here on our expenses page. Now, if we ever wish to make any changes or even remove the expense, we can do that from the options button here. So that concludes our look at the expenses section and showed you how to add your new expenses into your crunch accounting software.